Solomon's Knot with an interwoven square, one of a quite a common motif. If we turn it around that way, you can be easier to see. There is your one link, two link, that's your Solomon's Knot with an interwoven square. Now, start off by cutting a few of your white and then a lot of your black. So you can keep going with those. You can either work like this if it's easier to see the pattern or, or work that way. We'll start here as it's easy to see. Do these white ones in first. So once you've done the pattern, drawn the pattern in, set these single white tesserae. Now notice there's this one, it's five tesserae, that one, five tesserae, that one, and then it's five tesserae away from the edge there. And they're all set as square shapes. What you've got to do is think of these strands as something you, you can literally pick up and pull. You need to think of them as physical things. You have two lines of black either side of three lines of colour. Two lines of black either side of three lines of colour. Think of the shapes there that the, these strands form. You can see this one disappears. It ends there because it goes underneath that one. Then it reappears. It comes around. It's going over the top of that one. Then it disappears again because it's going underneath this one. Try to think of them as physical things which will make it a lot easier for you to set the pattern. Once you've done these white, set the black lines. It's all the black lines. So you can do from, say, here, this center tesserae, this black line starts there, ends there, starts there, ends there, starts there, ends there, starts there, ends there. You can see how these four go in, it's like a, a, a spiral shape around that center one. Then you can do, say, here, starts there, curls all the way around, triangles cut, then that square one there. This line starts here and it comes around in a curve. I'll show you some different cuts there. So what you have going around this center tesserae, see these black ones, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, that takes that round there. But on the curves, if you need something, you run a keystone cut, which is a square with the bottom corners cut off there. Or what you'll find it easier to do is rather than get um, the classic sort of square one and cut it, see if you can get something which is a little bit bigger, say more of a rectangular shape, that'd be easier to cut down, less likely for you to make a triangle. So here, triangles to get around that curve there, but as soon as you go outside, you want a keystone cut, and that just allows the line to flow more. So once you've done the black, all the black, then you can start filling in these coloured lines. What I do is pick one, say I'm going to do this green one, I do the white all the way around, then I do the yellow, then I do the green, then I pick another strand to do, but that way I know I'm not going to end up with a red suddenly turning into a green because I've been trying to do three at once. Once you've done that, just fill in these triangle gaps at the end and you've got to think these are these are just empty space so it doesn't matter if they're slightly different shapes from each other 